You can draw this and procreate. During this fun and easy procreate tutorial, you won't just learn how to create this cute blue monster, but while you are at it, you will learn about a liquify, using the symmetry tool, creating quick shapes, and mastering alpha lock. Don't forget to share it. If you're sharing it on Instagram, then be sure to tag me in the image, not just in the description, so I will be able to find your monster, and then maybe we will see it in the next video. Just like these amazing results from my friends at Patreon. That's where you'll find more than 150 Procreate tutorials ranging from beginner levels to more advanced levels. We have created this super cute orange monster for instance, which would be a great friend for the blue monster you are about to create. For our little blue monster, we are working on a canvas that is 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels, and I have linked a color palette in the description. We'll also be using some of my free brushes. If you don't already have them, be sure to go to freefromflow.com to get them and then if you're ready let's get started I want to start by changing the color of our background you can do that by going to the two little squares then tap background color and we'll change it to this first color in the first row then for our brush we'll grab the monoline brush under calligraphy and for the color we'll use this third color in the first row now the opacity of this brush should be at 100%. I have the size set to 30%. And now we are going to draw a circle. Just like this, hold your pen in place and then tap one finger on the screen for a perfectly round circle. And then drag in the color like this. Now we are going to make sure that our circle is in the exact center of our canvas. We'll go to the arrow over here to move and transform tool. Then over here under snapping, we will turn on snapping. And then we'll move it around until we see that vertical orange line. And then you can let go and tap the arrow again. Next, we are going to make use of the symmetry tool. To turn on the symmetry tool, we need to go to the wrench, then to canvas, then turn on drawing guide, and then tap edit drawing guide. And here at the bottom, you can set it to symmetry and then you can tap done. And then when you go to your layer menu, you will see assisted under the layer name. That means that uh, symmetry is turned on here and that whatever you do on the left side, whatever you draw there will also show up on the right side. And we won't be drawing now, but we will be using the liquify tool. You can find it under the magic wand and then here you'll find liquify. We'll set liquify to push with distortion and momentum set to none. I have pressure set to max. And for now the size is set to 70%. And let's pull down a little bit and make a bit of a shape like this. Maybe we can make the top a bit more pointy. Then we'll make the brush smaller, perhaps 45. And we'll pull down to create two little legs. So you can sculpt the shape of your monster. Maybe we can go even a little bit lower. And if you make your brush a bigger, so go back to 70%, you can push and pull bigger parts. So I'm just going to make the top a bit more pointy, so we'll shape it like this. And I think this is nice. Now let's go back to our layer. Let's continue working on this layer, but now we will grab a brush. Let's grab the script brush, which is also under calligraphy. We'll stick with this color. Now the opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size is at 12%. And now we are going to make a line like this. Then we'll go up, down and back up. And then we'll attach it to the body like this. Then drag in the color. So now we have these, these arms. You can tweak them a bit, make it a bit more smooth here. Now we are going to add two horns, but we'll add those on a separate layer. So we need to tap the plus to create 
an extra layer. Now tap and hold it and drag it underneath the other layer. Now over here, I also want to use the symmetry tool. So we need to tap this layer and turn on drawing assist. Now you'll see assisted underneath this layer name as well. Then for the color, let's grab this one, fourth color in the first row. And now we are going to create a rounded horn. Make sure to close the shape and then drag in the color. Next, we'll give our monster an eye. But before we do so, let's actually get rid of our vertical line that we have for our symmetry tool. You can do that by going to the wrench, then to canvas, and then turn off the drawing guide. But when you go to your layer menu, you'll see that these layers are still assisted and symmetry is still working. Now let's make a new layer on top of the body layer. Let's tap the plus. For the color, let's grab uh, this one over here, first color in the second row. And for the brush, we will use the monoline brush again. And then we'll draw a circle. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, to make a perfectly round circle, and then drag in the color. And now we can go to the Move and Transform tool to make sure that it's in like the perfect center. And now let's go back to the body layer, I feel like we can stretch it a bit more. Maybe we can make him a little bit longer. To do that, we can go to the Move and Transform tool, set it to Freeform, and then just stretch this bottom part to make him a little bit longer. I think he looks nice like this. And then tab the arrow again. Now let's go back to the eye. We'll go to Layer 3 and then tab the plus for a new layer on top. And this time we'll grab this color over here. Fourth color in a second row, and we'll make another circle for the iris. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, make it about this big, and then drag in the color. Then go to the Move and Transform tool again, and make sure that it's nicely centered. Then we'll make another layer, so we'll tap the plus again, and then for the color, we'll grab this one, that's the sixth color in the second row. And I will make the pupil. So draw a circle, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen like this, and then drag in the color. And then go to the Move and Transform tool and move it around until it's nicely centered like this. Now let's add some shading. Let's go to the Layer menu and start on Layer 3. And we are going to tap it and we'll turn on Alpha Lock here. And now we can only paint or draw on this white circle, which is super handy. Now we'll go to the treasure chest brush pack, which you can get for like totally free if you go to freefromflow.com. And we will use the dark noise brush. And for the color, we will grab this one over here, second color in the second row. Now the opacity of this brush is at 100%. And let's set the size to 55%. And now let's add this pink to this bottom area. Make multiple strokes to add that pink. And at the top, I just want a little edge. So let's make the brush a little bit smaller, 20%. And let's go along the edge to give a bit of depth there as well. So I'm just like painting on the outside of the circle to add a subtle edge. Then let's move to the iris on layer four. Again, let's tap it and turn on alpha lock. And then let's grab this color, third color in the second row. And let's use that to add shadow here. Now the light is hitting here on the eye. And the iris is more like on the inside of the eyeball. So this area will be in shadow. And this is where the light will hit actually on the iris. So you'll have a shadow area here. And then we'll create a light area there by using this color, fifth color in the second row. And let's add the light purple here. So we're getting a nice gradient. 
now to create that highlight, I want to first use this color over here, third color in the first row, and add a little bit of blue right here on this edge. Maybe we can make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's go for 12%. Add a nice blue highlight. And I will make an even brighter highlight on top. Let's do that on a new layer on top of the others. So first tap layer five, then tap the plus. And then for the brush, let's grab the round chalk brush. And for the color, we'll just use this one. First color in the second row. Now the opacity of this brush is at 100%. And let's set the size to 20. And then let's make a big highlight over here where the light is hitting the eyeball. Then we'll add a small one over here. And let's make the brush a little bit smaller, 10% for another small one here. This is great. Now let's start shading the body. We'll start on layer one here. We'll tap it and turn on alpha lock. And we can keep layer assist, strong assist turned on for now. And then for the brush, we will go to the dark noise brush again. And for the color, we'll grab this one. Fifth color in the first row. And then for the size of the brush, let's set that to 55%. And then let's go along the underside of the body. Make some rounded motions, multiple strokes. Here, the underside of the body is in shadow. And now let's make the brush smaller, maybe 20%, let's see, or an edge around the eye. A nice shadow edge. And the underside will be a bit darker. And now let's go to the layer menu and turn off drawing assist. I want to add some light, but I don't want it to be too symmetrical. And for that light, we'll use this color. Second color in the first row. And we are going to add it to this top left area. Let's make the brush a bit bigger. Let's set it to 55% again. Go over the top. And on this left side. Now, if you're losing too much of this dark edge around the eye, just go back to the dark color and fix it a bit. Now next I'd like to switch to the fine liner brush, which is also in a treasure chest brush pack. And then for the color, I'd like to go to this one, fifth color in the first row. Now the opacity of this brush should be at 100% and I'll set the size to 30%. And I will go to the arms and add some shadow here. We'll make a line going up following the shape of the body a bit. So it's a little bit rounded. And here as well, start with the arm and then follow that curve a bit. Now let's go a bit darker. Let's grab this color, sixth color in the first row. And let's use that as well for an even darker shadow. And over here. And I also want to use this color for a little like toe here. And one over here. And I'd like to add some texture to the body. First, let me grab this color the fifth color in the first row. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. We'll set it to 10%. And then let's just add some of these lines as if it has some fur, perhaps. Some on its arm. 
also want to grab a lighter color, the fourth color in the first row. We're just going to add some variation. Just in some random places, add these little lines. Let's also go lighter with the second color in the first row. And here at the top, they won't be as visible. Here they will be nice and subtle. And as you move down, they will become a more visible. There's more of a contrast. And then I'd also like to use this color, third color in the first row. We can use that here in the lower areas where there's shadow. And over here. And as you move up, these will be less visible. And finally, just a few more of those dark ones with the fifth color in the first row. You can definitely switch back and forth between the colors to create the effect that you like. Now for the horns, let's go to layer two. Let's turn off drawing assist. So we'll tap the layer, turn off drawing assist. Then we'll tap it again to turn on alpha lock. And then we'll go back to our dark noise brush. And for the color, we will stick with this one. So that's still the fifth color in the first row. And let's set the size of the brush to 20%. And then I'll just add some of that shadow to the side of the horn here as well. And let's also add a little bit of that third color in the first row for a little bit of light at the top of the horn and here. And I'd like to add some stripes. We'll do that with the fine liner brush again. And for the color, we will use the fifth color in the first row. And let's set the size to 30% again. Then I'd like a little line here and here and on this side as well. Maybe an extra dot. And let's also add a little highlight with the second color in the first row. Let's add one here and over here. And then our creature needs a little mouth. Let's put that on a layer on top of this one. So let's tap the plus here. For the brush, let's grab the round chalk brush. And for the color, we'll grab this one, fifth color in the first row. Now the opacity is still at 100%, the size at 10. And let's give him a slight smile. Just like this. We can go in there if you need to create a little bean shape. Then we'll shade it a little bit. We'll do that by turning on alpha lock on the layer again. So tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then grab this darker color, sixth color in the first row, and go in here and add a little bit of shadow here at the top. That's the inside of the mouth. And then we'll also grab this light color, second color in the first row. And then we'll add a tiny little edge of light. That's where the light is hitting on his like lower lip. And that'll give it some depth. Now finally, we need a little drop shadow. Let's grab a different brush. I'd like to use the chalk pencil. And for the color, we'll use this one. First color in the third row. Now the opacity of this brush should be at 100% and the size at 35. And then let's make a new layer. Let's tap the plus and drag that new layer all the way to the bottom. And now we can make a horizontal shape here from one leg to the other and a little bit on the outside. I like the chalky look of this as if we're using a colored pencil. 
So it can be a little bit scratchy. Doesn't have to be super tidy. Just create something like this. Now we'll go a little bit darker. We'll grab the second color in the third row. I will add that right around these feet, right where the feet are touching the ground. We'll add a little bit of a darker shadow. And that's it. You have created a super cute blue monster. If you have enjoyed following this tutorial, then I think you might like this tutorial next. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next tutorial.